Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. We are at a pretty dead point in FIFA right now. Not a lot going on, not a lot of traffic. However, even with all that, I know a lot of you are having trouble even logging into the game, which is absolutely ridiculous. EA, fix your servers, please. It just gets so old. I mean, if they were up most of the time, it would be one thing and we could overlook it. But it's even when they're up, you don't know if they're going to be good or bad. And it's just invest some of the FIFA point money into servers. I mean, give us something. Put something back into the game other than just combable licensing or something like that. Give us some good gameplay. That's all we ask for, please. With that being said, we do have a new player SPC to take a look at today. And we're going to start Team of the Season Boot Camp. We are right around a month away from Team of the Season. Last year, I think it came out May 10th with the Community Squad. So we're going to start today saving everything. My goal is to get to at least a million coins and 100 packs to open. And I'm not sure when we'll open the packs, if we'll split them up, split them up amongst the different teams, if we'll open up a lot during the Community Squad. Those seem to be the easiest to pack is during that first week with that Community Squad. Or if we'll wait for Premier League or League Un. We have several League Un players. If there was a team of the season, Neymar, that'd be absolutely insane. But, you know, we're just going to start saving up a lot of stuff. Now, there will be another promotion or two before team of the season. And usually what I do is I'll either play some drafts. I'll do some squad building challenges. I'll open up a few packs. But my main thing will be just to save for team of the season. But, it, you know, it's nice to open up a few packs during a new promo just to try to get some of the new players. But we'll just have to play it by year on that and see. But our main objective is just to continue increasing our packs, increasing our coins until team of the season. So team of the season boot camp starts today. But let's take a look at our new player. I think this is a pretty monstrous player if you can fit him into your team. If you need him, definitely knock him out. Now, I will say one thing, though. If you're going to do this, wait a couple days because we still have this. Let me just get over here. People are still working on their foot birthday party bag. And some of these 85 rateds like Onana, who was going for like five or 6,000 coins not too long ago. Let's see what he's going for now. Is he down even to 7,000? Let's see. So there, yeah, okay. So the 82 Onanas are down. And it actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to buy some of those 82 Onanas when people are going crazy for 85s. People are just even buying those 82 Onanas because Onana went extinct on the market during this last foot birthday party bag. And people were buying up those 82s as well. So it's pretty crazy. Let's see. What about 9200 for an 85 Onana? Those are all 82s, 82s. Now, this is what makes it frustrating. You can't search. So even 85 Onana, you cannot get them for even 9,200 coins right now. So the cost of this Fuchs is going to come down considerably in the next couple days. So if you're looking to do them, wait until that foot birthday party bag expires and he should come down considerably. But I think it's a very, <clears throat> excuse me, very fair price. It, it requires an 83 rated squad and an 85 rated squad. Last I looked on Footbin, it was right around 175,000 coins. But again, that's with inflated prices for 85s and 86s. This should come down several, you know, 20, 30,000 more once that, once that kind of expires and runs its course. But this card looks absolutely monstrous. Now, I have seen some people online complain about his stamina. Now, his stamina is a slight bit of an issue. If you're someone that, that bombs your fullbacks up the pitch, if you have your fullbacks on anything other than stay back while attacking, then he may not be the man for you because he will get a little bit tired. But I run Juan Basaka in game who has 83 stamina, and he can play a full 120 minutes with no problems. I mean, he maybe gets down a little bit, but he is still fully functional even at, at the 120th minute mark. And so this Fuchs, if you have your fullbacks on stay back while attacking, will will be perfect with his stamina. His agility is also slightly low, but it's it's not poor by any means. It's, it's going to be usable for a fullback. And what I would probably recommend on him is a shadow, which would make his acceleration 99 and his sprint speed 98. You don't need to boost any of his physical stuff because look at that, 99 strength, 99 aggression, which is absolutely insane on a fullback. I've talked about this many times. You know, Go check out some of the best left backs and right backs in the game. Their strength will be like 75 or 80. And so 
when you have players making runs by them, they can't really jockey them out of the way, but someone like Fuchs is just going to shove the, shove one of these fast wingers out of the way. Plus, he's got the top-end speed to keep up with them if he needs to. His passing is also top-notch. 92 short pass, 88 long pass. I've talked about this a lot, how you need a fullback to thread those passes up the wing. Wing play is so important in FIFA 20, so he's going to really help out with that. The other thing you can do with this Fuchs is he would also make an epic center back. I think even if on seven chemistry, he's shown on footman as a 95 rated center back on seven chemistry with a shadow. So, I mean, he would make for an outstanding center back. But I'll also say this, with all that being said, if you cannot fit him into your team, if he doesn't fit your team, don't do him. There's just no point. You know, earlier in the year, you know, you maybe would knock out someone like this because, you know, well, later they're probably going to release a Premier League center back. And, you know, maybe if you would have got that David Luiz later and then you could pair him with Fuchs, if, if you get what I'm saying, that you know, then it would make sense to do someone like that. But right now, unless he fits perfectly in the team you're going to run at the moment, don't do one because we are that close to team of the season. And then you can pick a team of the season left back to complete. So do, if you can fit him into your team, he's absolutely monstrous. He would make for a monster Premier League center back too. So be one, in my opinion, he'd be one of the top Premier League center backs just on seven chemistry. The other thing you can do, he has a weak link to David Alaba. If you have the David Alaba shapeshifter, which is a center back, you could flip Alaba and Fuchs in game and have Alaba play left back and Fuchs play center back. So that's another thing you can do with this card. If you have that Conte center back, you could, I, I wouldn't flip Conte to left back, but you could flip Conte to CDM, flip Fuchs to center back, and then have someone like even like a Michael Essien or someone like that that could play fullback, you know, so you have lots of opportunities if you do want to link them out there, but again, don't do them unless he fits your team, but this is a really strong card in my opinion. It's probably when everything is falls down a little bit going to be in that 150,000 range. But part of that price is with this 83. And I know if you're like me, we end up with tons of different 83s. And most of the 83s are cheap as can be. They may be a little inflated right now. But I know that I generally have a, a, an abundance of 83. So I'd say a lot of us can make this 83 rated squad without having to buy anything on the market. And you get a small prime gold players pack, which isn't a terrible pack to get back for an 83 rated squad. So I think he would be worth doing, but only if you can fit him into your team. We do have a Champions League SPC as well. I haven't looked at the requirements for this one. This one, Game Changer, with a prime mixed players pack. Let's see if we can knock this one out. Hopefully we have the blues that they're requiring. We only need one UCL card, and we need just six gold players. Okay, that's pretty nice. But you need 10 leagues. Wow, so 10 leagues. Wow, okay. So players from same nation, max nine, but you need... Okay, okay, okay. This seems fairly easy, I think. I guess. Am I missing something? Okay, but you need 10 different leagues. So let's see. Can we do, do something like Brazil? Like what do we have? Brazil... We only need, I don't have one Brazilian goalkeeper in the game. Wow, let's see. Let's try Argentina. Okay, I've got several Argentinian keepers. So we could, we only need six goal players. So we can use a lot of silver players. Guys, we could even use um, use bronze players. So that would be make it even easier. Let me just see what bronzes I have. I guess we do need to get some golds out here as well. You know, these two guys are perfect. And then what else do we need? So we need 10. Oh, okay, I need to make sure I'm looking at my leagues too because we need 10 leagues. So that's perfect. We have the Argentinian League, La Liga, and the Mexican League. What about CDM-wise? Gosh, I hate to use one of my Libertadores players. Okay, I think that's fine. I'm, I'm not worried about it. Let's just put them out there from Colombia. Let's just get this knocked out here. And we probably can go back and change some of it. Okay, there's uh, League 2 and also um, the Italy 2. So that is perfect. I think I put him at striker, which I didn't really mean to do. Okay, we are rolling on this. So we're going to need some more gold players. What about center forward from Argentina? We have Correa. That would give us one of our gold cards. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that either. He's not super expensive. Right wing for Argentina. That's going to be a similar league. I'll go ahead and put him out there for now. We might have to change that. Left wing from Argentina. Okay, we have Liga Nas, we have Acuna. Let's just put Acuna out there. We only need, we need, still need two more goal players. We need two more leagues. So let's just see what we have. Oh, we need a UCL card. Let's see what UCL cards we have. Let's go ahead and filter on special. Uh, better do low to high. 
just to see. We're going to have to go through a lot of our black combable cards just to get through all this. But I'm curious what we have as far as UCL cards because we need kind of a different league. So I think we've got this one well under control. This one should not be a problem. But we got to get through all of our combable cards. Okay, there's Braithwaite. He's Barcelona, so he has a lot of value as a Barcelona player. Tehran, same thing, has a lot of value as a Barcelona player. Diallo, as a PSG player, I hate to use him. Might have to. Am I really running that low on blues? Okay, we have Almeida, Guerrero. Oh, man. They're going to be best to use Guerrero or Diallo. Let's just use Diallo. I think that would be fine. I don't think I've used League Un either. And that did count as a gold. So we, you know, we're perfect on chemistry. All we need is basically any gold right back that is from a different league. So let's see what we have. I don't think we even used Premier League. We, I know we used, I don't think we used Greece. So that would be perfect. There we go. We've got that one taken care of. That's fairly easy to do for our Prime X Players Pack. I'm sure I could have made it even better, used a few more bronzes or, or something like that. Not even had to use that combo bowl card, but I'm not even too worried about it. Let's just, we got it done. That's going to be our first pack to add to our team for our Team of the Season Boot Camp, this Prime X Players Pack. Now, you, you have to be a little careful on some of these because this one's only going to give you four golds and four silvers and four bronzes. But generally, during Team of the Seasons, there are usually a few silvers that do make Team of the Season. So this one could have some value from that as well. But if you end up, if you have like a pack that, you know, you don't need to necessarily save silver packs. I mean, it could be worth it because it just depends on how many players... And it's also, it happens some more, like if they do some of the lesser leagues, they've changed it up in different years. Like sometimes they'll run like the Premier League and the Saudi League at the same time. Sometimes, you know, they do it a little differently every year. But generally there's some silver players that do make them the team of the season. So you can pack them as your silver player. So we will hold on to this pack. So that'll be our first pack for team of the season boot camp. And definitely make sure you're going through these. Uh, I still need, I'm going to have to get, get going a little bit because I'm, well, I'm still deciding. I thought for sure I was going to take Fred, but I've been looking at this Bellotti card too. I think he looks pretty cool with five-star weak foot. I'm not sure that I'd fit any of them into my main team. Now the Bellotti only has three-star skill moves. This Fred looks like a great box-to-box -box midfielder, but I'm not sure who I'm going to pick, but I am still, what, I'm 17,000 XP away. And I mean, and I, I play a ton of FIFA, you know, as you guys know, I'm surprised I'm that far away because I've seen a lot of people who have already got Fred or Bellotti or have somebody from this. I have not seen a Carrasco. I've seen a couple Bellottis and a couple Freds. So there are people that have already obtained that and I'm still far away. So I'm going to really have to work on it. Make sure that you do all these friendlies. I've been trying to knock these out. What I've usually been doing is at night when I go to bed, I'll just start one of these and uh, you know score the goal or get the assist or whatever I need to do. And I'll just set my controller down and go about my way. And then I'll just start halftime when I wake up or something like that. That just kind of knocks out a couple of them without having to do anything. Or if you're having to leave leave your system for a little while, you know, just start the game. Like we could do that right now. Let's just go into a survival match. <clears throat> And let's just get going on one of those and we'll wrap it up. You know, this will just take care of another one. So if we go into couch play, classic, this is what's really cool. And I know some people have been trying to knock these out like with their buds or something. But when you can just do these against the AI, I just do them when, um, you know, like I said, when I just have some free time or if I'm just going to go away, I just enter a match. Just enter the match, score your goal, assist your goal, whatever you have to do. Oh my gosh. I guess the servers are still crapping out. I cannot believe this. Like, what is going on, EA? This is just crazy. Like, and that's just for a couch play game. Like, let's try to go into a rivals match or something like that. If we try to go into a rivals match, is it still I'm sure it's the same thing. So yeah, entering a match has been disabled. This it's just absolutely insane. Like, we want to love the game so much. We get we just get taken advantage of so much it's really frustrating anyways guys that's gonna wrap up the video please make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter follow me everywhere let's get going on team of the season boot camp but i'll see you guys soon bye